Hey everybody, it's the Civil Knight back with Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In the last part, we did all our basic training, and this part we finally enter Grunty's lair. Alright, let's start off this mission by getting our first Jiggy. Now what you want to do, you just want to come up on these rocks in the main lobby and... Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy! Now go find a picture of the beast missing and then you'll... Dance, dance. Yay. Awesome. Alright, so that's the first Jiggy, and there's a hundred Jiggies in this entire game. We will be going through all of them. So first you want to get this... You want to take your Jiggy over here, and what do you do when you get money? It's technically money, I would assume. What do you get when you get money? You spend it. Yes, bottles, we understand. Enter words shown on the picture. You must fill in the missing spaces. It's basically... Excuse me. What they're saying is that you, for every missing picture, you have to have a jiggy to fill its space. You know. That's it. The picture's complete, and the door is open to Mumbo's Mountain. Yes, and this. That is. That was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. <laughs> yeah, laugh like a tool. Anyways, Mumbo's Mountain. We're about to uh, see another character that's going to be appearing in each level. And as as uh, Bottles is saying, there's three new moves we can learn. So if we see a molehill, we'll just get them. Um, as you see here, there's music notes. There is a hundred in each world. And uh, they'll be helping, uh, yeah, as he's saying right there, note doors. So, and also these guys are called Jinjos. There are five Jinjos in each level. And yes, as in print is five of us in each of the worlds, free us all to get a Jiggy. So if you get five, you get a Jiggy. But um, if you get a hundred music, well that was weird. If you get a hundred music notes, um, oh, yes, yes bottles. If you get a hundred music notes, you don't get a Jiggy, but it, it allows you to move on to other levels. Now, okay, so just going down here. There's so much to explain in this first five seconds. Ugh, there's so many. This 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 game, man. This game is collectathon. It's nuts, man. It's crazy. All right, so uh, let's go over here and hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, that sucks. And as we saw in the first episode, uh, when you defeat an enemy, you get a honeycomb. Anyways, the second Jinjo, it's the pink one! And, uh, it seems we can't climb this hill yet. Because it's, like, it's slippery. So, but, but, don't fret, people. There is something that will help us climb this, and it's in this world. Anyways, we're gonna wanna climb up. Woo! Yoo-hoo! Anyways, fly down here, and we'll get our first honeycomb. Honeycomb pieces. There is... I want to say two per world. I'm not 100% sure on that, if it's two per world, but anyways. Yeah, just right there on the mountainside is the first one. Uh, if you ever want to check your totals, you just press the start button and, of course, view totals. And it'll tell you that we have one more. We have ten jiggies to find, as there is in every world. Uh, and then we have one honeycomb, and that's how many notes we have. Alright, another collectible here is the Mumbo Tokens. Mumbo Tokens are, you taking them to Mumbo and he will allow you to transform. And now, transformations will help you in, um, you know, getting some of the jiggies here in the level. Uh, I think, first off, what I usually do in this level is to, hello ant, beat up the ant, because that ant is just, just mad. You saw it, it had the crazy eyes. Had the crazy eyes. Okay, so what you want to do up here and oh, here's a free jiggy in the middle of st like Stonehenge. You must search for ten of us in each world. We'll help your progress through the witch's lair. Dance, dance, and then some else. Yay! And then we get a first jiggy. Oh, achievement unlocked. I don't know why I have the achievements on, but I crap. Whatever. Whatever, you, you saw it. it. It's important. The talent trot will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold the right trigger and then press the left trigger. Continue to hold the right or left trigger while moving. 
Zooey around with the stick. I just, you'll, you'll just go. So this is the fastest mode of transportation on feet. And here are eggs. Eggs are another, not really collectibles, but they're, as you can see, Kazooie will learn how to shoot them out of her mouth. And other places. Other places. Yes, you heard right. And let's get this orange Jinjo. Oh, there's so many things to collect. Oh, Mumbo Token. Oh, Jinjo. Music notes. Jiggy, jiggy, jiggy. Oh, man. It's so crazy, this game. But, uh, trust, trust me, this, this is the only fast world, I guess you would like to say. The first couple levels are always fast-paced. And, like, honestly, it's... Yeah, it's just, it's really fast-paced, and trust me, you'll get a hang of it. Yippee! Bottles is just saying that we have enough to break the first door. I haven't shown off the door. The only way to get to the door is to get the talent trot, and of course you're gonna want to get it, because, like, why wouldn't you? It's an awesome. You get to jump around, you go, Whee! Whee! Who doesn't want to do that? Alright, uh, let's head over here and talk to this monkey. Hi, monkey! Grr, this Congo tree, me hit bear with oranges. Oh, don't touch Congo's blocks. I'm touching it, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Anyways, as you see right now, what you wanna do is you wanna have Congo fire them at you when you're standing in place. Ow! That wasn't even close. And if you do all that, you get... Grr, clever bear fun, Congo's go. You'll get up, Jiggy! Dance, dance. And some else. Alright, we have two of this world. Anyways, the next one is we're gonna go steal from Congo. You throw something at us, we take your oranges! Hey, that's Congo's orange, put back. Nope. Yum, oranges are nice. Oh, Chimpy likes Congo's orange. Chimpy, hub fat bear. And Wow, you call me fat? More athletic than you. Jeez. Dan dance. And then. Yes. Perfect. We got. Oh. We failed the jump. Twice. Three times. Fourth time. Is. Okay. Just. Just. There we go. <laughs> I was trying to do it fast. I don't know why. Anyways. Um. You can see us collecting eggs, but before we talk to Bottles, who will give us the give us the move to shoot eggs out of our mouth and other places, we want to head over here and remember remember that. I should have grabbed the other move that allows you to use that, but we will grab it in a second. Time for the buzzer to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. Hold the right or left trigger, then press Y and shoot an egg out of your mouth. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure, press B instead and you can shoot them out from behind. Sheesh, sounds painful. I wish I'd never asked. Oh, gross. Her brain can cr carry 100 eggs in her backpack. Oh, you can also use the left stick to aim when you're encroaching. Now you learned how to use eggs. Here's 50. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. I think, Bottle. Thank you, Bottle. Z. There's an S on the end. Anyways, you, you can fire three at a time, and, you know, you just want to hit Mongo. Watch out for the oranges, because, like, I don't know why, but he just, he just loves those damn oranges. Oh, that's definitely not in the right way at all. There we go. There we go. Defeated Congo. Ugh. Bear beat Congo, me get prize to bear. And shocker, the prize is a Jiggy. Jiggy, get Jiggy with it, get Jiggy. Get Jiggy with it. Dance. Dance. Alright. Let's talent trot away. Bye, Congo. Stupid. This man. Woo! I'm sorry if that's annoying, but, you know, it's the fastest way to go around. And oh, look, another Jiggy! Just on the mountainside after you get the talent trot. Dance, dance. And then some else. 
Alright, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna collect the rest... The rest of these music notes on the side of this hill. Because we can. Miss that one. Alright, there we go. Alright, I don't think I've explained these, but uh, basically they're just little um, bee sanctuaries, and as you just saw, bust them open and it'll give you some life. Here come, all come. Yes, I see. Alright, let's talk to Bottles and learn the last move of this world. I call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air and press the right or left trigger to send Kazooie slamming hard down to the floor. Gulp, I don't like the sound of that banjo. Get used to it, Nest Girl. You'll be using it a lot. Whoa, Banjo, there's nothing more I can teach you on this world. Alright, so what you want to do is in mid-air, you just pound on down on the houses and course collect everything because like why wouldn't you collect everything we'll need these music notes for later of course some have eggs oh, get out of here some have eggs some have hopes and dreams and some have jiggy yeah jiggy get jiggy with it all right and this one has an enemy get out of here I think you're smart hiding in a shack And then we collected all the Jinjos, and they give us a Jiggy. Dance, dance. And then some more. Alright. Let's just bust the rest of these houses open. Extra life! And the puzzle piece of Jigginess. Yeah. Alright, so what you want to do with this is... We do do mambo tatampo. Feed us with nice blue stones. Well, here's an egg. I don't really have any stones. I don't know why they called it stones, because these aren't really stones. Anyways, you just want to fire one into their mouth, but leave the last one, because otherwise you won't be able to get this honeycomb. Yeah, there we go. And after defeating all of them, we get a jiggy. Oh yeah. How do you like them? Look, we're already up to eight. And we're only 12 minutes into this world. It's nuts. Woo! Woo! That's what you sound like. Anyways, we want to enter here and get smacked by a by an ant. Of course, we cannot make it all the way to the top of this mountain. Or, yeah, a mountain. It's funny. This is called Mumbo's Mountain. Yet Mumbo does not live on the mountain. He lives on, like he lives on this hill. But, like, that's technically the mountain, or pillar, I guess, if you want to call it. If you want to call it a pillar. Alright, there is something in his eye. Yeah, a Jiggy. Look! We only have one more Jiggy in this world, people. Alright, so let's just head on in. Say hello to Mumbo. He's a shaman. He sleeps. Oh, and uh, if you get up here, yeah, get up. Okay, it's not important, but there's there's eggs all around. Make sure to check each of these in each world, because there will be different things. Me Mumbo, best shaman in all game, can help Banjo and Filthy Feathered One. Man, everyone just hates Kazooie. Watch it, Hut Boy. Mumbo's magic tokens hid by which. Find tokens and Mumbo help you. Ah! Banjo has plenty of tokens. Stand on skull and press X to see mighty Mumbo magic. Thank you. I will. Alright. Let's transform into... Da -da -na 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 -na. An ant! With a backpack and shorts. God damn it, achievements. Mumbo's magic. Feel free to change back at any point. Termite bomb. Sm <laughs> bit small, but not bad for a first spell. Mumbo practice. I didn't mean to do this, but uh, I actually have to do something as a human. Uh, you remember that, uh... Oh, excuse me. That grunty pad we saw over by Congo. 
all the way over there. Well, what you want to do is you actually want to go smash that because of another jiggy that will be available for you inside of Grunty's lair. Yes, hello, Congo. Yes, you're amazing. Yeah, you're, you're terrific. I really wonder if they meant to base him off Donkey Kong. I know he looks nothing like him, but, like, I don't know. Giant monkey. I don't know, he kind of looks like, um, his uncle. Anyways, you want to slam down, and boom! But you're like, how am I going to get up to there? And Talon Trot will not work. Unless you're really expert at glitching. And you can just, like, hop up super fast. The only other means of getting it is to be an ant. Now, the, you can exit the level, but you can't get far as an ant. Or as any transformed being. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to smack down on this. Give the smack down and... Oh, and transform back into the... The magnificent ant. Yeah. And then, uh... Well, we're gonna we're gonna go climb that mountain where that spider's like no uh and we're like hey bro stop that we're gonna come and mess you up so let's enter the cavern click 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 hey where did you get those shorts I want them well you cannot have them because they are my shorts and they keep me warm okay God jeez. Anyways, um, <laughs> awesome shorts, and there's 100 notes! You found all 100 notes in this world, well done! Thank you. <laughs> now, ah, uh, god, I can't do that jump. Now, it seems we've almost completed everything we can do in this level, for now. We, uh, I'm taking, I'm taking two of your eggs. You can deal with the rest. I don't want them. Now, again, you can't talon trot, tal, tal, bleh, talon trot up there. Unless you're really good at glitching it somehow. But other than that, you have to be an ant. And we got our final, she, jiggy as an ant. And it plays the triumphant music. The triumphant music! Now, as we look at the totals here, let's see. 100 notes, 10 out of 10, 2 out of 2, 16 minutes. That was pretty good. Alright, now we can exit the level, but of course we can't get far. The only reason we want it is to get up here so that we can get that. Alright. Yes, I get it, those shorts. They were on clearance, okay? Go to winners. Get them there. Anyways, in the next part, we're gonna go further into the lair and get into the next world of this amazing game of Banjo Kazooie. But you might ask yourself, how can you change back from, at, from an ant? I'll find out later in the next part. Ow, oh, you ran me over. Ugh, I'm angry. No, I'm just gonna chill on this mountain. When you open a world, baddies escape and roam once more. Well, good. Good for them. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next part. Take it easy.